Welcome to this video. I'm going to show you how to create a Google Ads report in Looker Studio, previously called Data Studio. Now, as you can see on my screen, on my screen, this will be the end result. We have all these uh, data points, impressions, click through rate, clicks, conversion rate, conversions. And what I did was I imported two different data sets from data from Google Analytics 4 and data from Google Ads. I'll show this screen. The way this video is going to work is we're going to divide it into several steps. First of all, we have to find a data connector because as you can see, we imported data from Google Analytics 4 and Google Ads. Now we can't just do that where I did it and you can do it as well completely for free is if you use a data connector like Power My Analytics. So let's just go to Power My Analytics. And as you can see, you can start a free trial right here. And the way I'm going to do is, is I'm going to recreate this report with Power My Analytics. We go back to lookerstudio.google.com. I'm going to create a new blank report. We want to have data from Google Ads. Instead of using the Google connector, we're going to use the connector from Power My Analytics. What the connector basically does is it pulls the data from Google Ads and puts it into the Looker Studio dashboard. We're going to click here. You know, you have to make a free account, Power My Analytics. You can see you're now logged in with my email. And then you have to choose a Power My Analytics hub, just a hub you make. For example, if you have, if you have a, a certain uh, subscription at Power My Analytics, you can have different hubs. If you, are an, if you are an agency, you can choose different hubs for different businesses. My hub is just from my business that I, use for liking these videos scripts alliance so choose next it's loading and the user account what you will use is you can choose the sample account sample account what that does is within power my analytics it provides you with provides you sample data so you can uh, learn how to use look studio not with your mock data you don't need to have all these different accounts and websites yourself so you choose this you don't really need to touch this that's not really relevant and then you just say add. If you would want to add Google Ads data to from your uh, account, then obviously you have to go into your Power My Analytics platform, and then you're going to connect accounts. Google Ads. See, so now we're choosing a connector again. Crypto's Alliance Hub. You don't really need to report that. Though. Right now we cannot see the user account, so we go to the Google Ads connector guide. So basically, for example, Google. Anyway, anyway, it's gonna get too long, but you can read. So what you get an error because I'm not logged into multiple accounts. But basically, if you read this, this is how you do it. We're just going to. What was I? So we just added to Google Ads into here. We don't really need this. Now we want to add new data. This time we want to have Google Analytics. Again, we're going to choose the one from Power My Analytics. I will link uh, the relevant links to tutorials for how to add sample data as well. It's going to be the sample account next. Basically, that's how you do that. I'm going to just going to go back to lucasstudio.google.com. It's always very important for Lucas Studio. You need to. I'm just going to go back to this one. You need to import the data. You need to use a connector for this. So I use Power My Analytics because the pricing is actually pretty affordable and it has a lot of different connectors. So you can choose from a lot of different sources to pull into Looker Studio. Instead of working in data silos, you have to go to your Google Ads dashboard to view analytics numbers from there, go to Google Analytics to view the numbers from there. Maybe you have you use WooCommerce or Shopify, but now what you can do is you can pull all those different data sources and pull them into your reports. You want to edit this, obviously. 
So we can even select a date range. So how do you do that? I'm just gonna double everything. So you wanna go to here, out of control, date range control, and then you can just select the date. So we already have that, boom. To put the bar here, we can go to shape, rectangle, put it here. Now, so this is overlaying it. So what you can do is order and you can send it to the back and then the color you can change here on the right so orange color I'm going to delete it again doesn't matter to add an image very simple here add image upload from computer and that's how I put my logo in here ah, these are what's called scorecards right so if you click on add a chart you can add a scorecard so the difference between this one and this one is this one has compact numbers what you will see it has a little k for a thousand this will allow your scorecard to be smaller let's look at this one. add a scorecard so what do we have to choose you have to choose the data source this can either be google ads or google analytics 4. now you can also see i have blended data so what that means is that in one chart i can both put data from google ads and google analytics 4 in this case so i'm just going to select the date range and i'm gonna do this quarter why it's obviously it takes a while for it to load well basically what you want to do here i have impressions data source i chose google ads and then you have metrics so scorecard just reporting on a single metric what you can do is on the right side you have all these different things so i can search within google ads i want impressions so i'll go impressions shows okay we find the metric impressions on the Google Ads, so click it here and then drag it here. Click through rate, same here, Google Ads, clicks, Google Ads, conversion rates, conversions. And these are more cost per conversion, purchase revenue, average cost per click, and the cost. Super handy to just have an overview of this. Now, this is September because September is, I'm filming this on September 3rd, so this is obviously very low. So this, what this is, this is, what you would call a combo chart because it has two things. The way we want to set it up is we want to see conversions and conversion rates. So again, you go to here, conversions, boom, and then conversion rates, boom, here. And then the next thing you want to do is back here in metrics, and then we want to dimension. So it's, you know, we showcase the metrics per each dimension will be month. Month is just easier to see. And then we want to sort by month ascending. So we go, so we want August, July, September. And then here the same, sort by descending. It's better. All right, so we have these different metrics now. So we can see the conversions and the conversion rates. So maybe the something affected. Anyway, it gives you more data to think about and feel about how does your business work. And the cost per conversion as well now this is sample data so it's not you know really really super relevant next one we have a table again add a chart i know and here this you have three different types of tables so you have just a normal table you have a table with bars and you have a table with heat maps so this is called this is called heat maps again data source google ads dimension is the campaign names so video campaigns smart campaign etc and then these are the different metrics, conversions, cost per conversion, cost and conversion value, default date range. And then the style, you will see the heat map, column number three, column number two, column number one. So this is the green color. If I change this, for example, yellow, it changes colors. Now, because these numbers are so big and kind of unrealistic, sample data isn't the best, but at least, at least it allows you to work with the data. So that's how you get this. Then this is another table, but this is, as you can see, with bars. And I used here the keyword dimension. So per each keyword, we see the amount of conversions, the cost and the conversion value. Next one, we have, what well, these are called donuts charts. So again, add a chart, pie chart. This is a donut chart. I chose the dimension is to be the device device categories so we have tv screens mobile phone computers and tablets as you can see in the, again sample data all four of them have almost the exact same percentage which is unrealistic but it would be very beneficial for you to view 
sorry, to view what's the cost per device, what's the conversion value that I'm getting per each device, and what's the amount of clicks that each device is getting. Maybe you're just spending a lot on TV screens and it's not giving you any conversion value or very little, then you spend less on TV screens, for example, than more on computers or mobile phones. These are again stacked bars, stacked combo charts, sorry. Here, you, the network, you have YouTube search, display search. So this again allows you to see the difference in search networks for different metrics. As you can see it's set up network as a dimension, which is this one. Then as the last one, I chose to blend data. Now blending data, to be honest, is kind of difficult because you need, I'll explain to you why. This table, data source is Google Ads plus GA4, Google Analytics 4. Now, how do you get that? You want to go to resource, manage blends. I have one blend here, so meaning two different data sets that we're going to blend so we can showcase them in one chart. Let's edit this. So automatically you get Google in one table here, and then you can say, I want to join with another table, and you can choose another data source. Boom, boom, boom. This is because of your power analytics. But we have just Google Ads and J4. Now, the important is you want to name it Google Ads. So you can, it will show you here from which data source it is, if it's the same name. Here, you want to choose the join configuration. Now, this is kind of tricky because if I choose left out of the join, I need to add a field here, for example, month and months. Then you want those months to each dimension it has to match say but we cannot campaign name i know from experience that it's a different name so they will not match let's try this just month and month but okay, save we're going to see how this affects our table here configuration error invalid argument type for some reason it's always uh drags what i just do is Again, go to edit just to cross. It's the easiest solution fix that I found. So what cross join does is that it just doesn't really care about what dimension matches. It just it just matches it, and you, it will work. Because for example, for all these different months, we can then combine Google Analytics data with Google Ads data. For example, the screen page views is from Google Analytics four, and you can. You can like uh, compare the different data. Let's say you have one month. So here it's all the same sample data. Let's say September, you have a lot of screen page views, but then in August less views, but then you still have more conversions in August with less views than in September. Then you have to investigate what happened. Why is this happening? Yeah. So this is basically how in one report you can add all these different types of data it's a lot easier to figure out what exactly is going on in your business. And the data will always point towards something. It's not conclusive, but it will allow you to ask better questions and find better answers. That's the whole point of data visualization and data analysis. If you want help with this, feel free to reach out to me at my email, Cripsis Alliance at gmail.com or you can click the link in my bio or in my description and if you have any more questions please comment them below subscribe to the video it helps out a lot to my channel and i will see you next time